that's the Omega Rail. I mean, um, TM Hornfire 101. He has one similar to this, but he has, um, he inspired me on getting all this, um, flat dark earth stuff. But he has the Daniel Defense, or, I mean, I'm sorry, gas piston system. So it goes, it's like a little, um, extended rail right here for the front sight. And then he has a gas piston in here. I only have the regular, um, impingement, gas impingement system. Reason why I didn't get that yet, and I'm not planning on getting it anytime soon, is because I really don't need it. It's a brand new rifle, and it's going to take some time for this thing to wear down. So by the time I save up some money to get that, and I will, um, everything will be fine because for now I'm just going to keep cleaning it when it needs to be clean. If it doesn't need to be clean, I, I won't clean it. And you know, it's as simple as that. I doubt that um, a few months of shooting, not even constantly, just every now and then, um, will deteriorate the inside of my gun, the bolt, um, assembly, the charging handle, that stuff, all that interior. I doubt it's gonna, um, it's gonna damage it. This is, I mean, this is, how it's supposed to be built initially in the first place. Um, this is how it comes in the military. It doesn't come with a, a gas piston system. And you know, they have jams every now and then, but um, like I said, I'm not gonna be shooting constantly like I'm in a war or something. So right now that's not my, a big issue as far as getting it. But um, basically, what I'm going to do is engrave all those letters. I'm sorry for the non-steady hand. I'm going to engrave all those letters right here. All of that stuff right there. Everything on the gun. And engrave it in, in uh, flat dark earth. I'm going to add paint to it in flat dark earth. Um, I'm planning on getting the EOTech 557 to the top, and what I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, paint it like the the back part. It's like two parts of it. It's one the front part is where the battery goes. I'm gonna keep that black, but the back part, the sides of it, I'm gonna um, where the where the actual window is. I'm gonna put that flat dark earth, and I think I'm gonna do a custom paint job on the other side of my receiver. And this on this side where it's blank, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do it like probably an ace. So that's my nickname. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, right here. This is what came with the CTR stock. That's the box that came with it. This I don't like this because it doesn't really give you any directions at all on how to um to um, install the the butt stock. So, I had to call the guy that sold it to me at the gun shop and um, ask him how to install it. This basically, this paper right here is telling you uh, the difference between commercial and mil spec and um, tells you about the extended butt pad and stuff like that, but it doesn't really tell you how to put it on. So I don't like that. I didn't like that at all. This is a little better. This is for the grip. Um, it shows you the different cores that you can get for it. it shows you the different um, the different pieces that goes the back straps and the front straps of the the grip that can go on it and how to install it. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Shows you pictures of them right here on how to install it. I mean, it's, it's, I like this because they it seemed like they put effort into this, but not that. That's bullshit. I didn't like that at all. Um, this is basically the front strap that I want to do for the extended guard, but I had to um, 
find something that can support the ear the other side of the ear right here I need to find something that can support that while I'm banging on it trying to get it out um, so I won't damage it but I'm going to basically put that front strap I mean I'm sorry that um, trigger guard the Magpul trigger guard on there so it look like that but um, I need to get a punch and I need to get some support for that um, we have the the um, removable carry handle right here you just look through those holes and then you look through the front sight uh, I like this I actually like this I like it better than I thought it was going to like it. I thought I was going to initially just say oh I'm going to throw this in the garbage and the first thing I'm going to do when I get this AR is get um, uh, EOTech and put it on top but what I found out was that this is usable this is very usable and it, this can hold me off before I get my EOTech in probably like two weeks three weeks the most um, so I like it I like it a lot um, I'm sorry this is some stuff to clean the kit got a toothbrush you know, I use this every now and then, you know, to brush my teeth in the morning. No, I'm not crazy. No, I'm just playing. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is metal. This can cut you. I got cut before with this. If you um, get hit by a raw, same thing with this. This is metal, and spiky and sharp and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> then you have a couple of rods. I guess the rods to clean the barrel and all the internal stuff. I gotta um the, the manual didn't tell me how to use this cleaning kit, so I gotta Google it online, see what the hell is going on. What I might do is use my AK cleaning rod and 